In the event of a post-asteroid apocalypse, where are the safest land masses in the world? Here is the detailed map of predicted land changes based on geological positioning. All post-polar shift predictions are based on the theories from Gordon Michael Scallion, Edgar Cayce, and others, and should not be construed as fact. The resulting flooding and tectonic upheaval could look something like this. Let's start with the North American continent, Canada. Parts of the northwest region will be pushed in almost 200 miles. Regions in Quebec, Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and areas of Alberta will become the refugee survival center of Canada. Most migrations into the area will arrive from British Columbia and Alaska. The United States. As the North American plate buckles, the new islands of California will be created with almost 150 islands. The west coast will recede eastward towards Nebraska, Wyoming, and Colorado. The Great Lakes and St. Lawrence Seaway will join and continue through the Mississippi River to the Gulf of Mexico. All coastal areas from Maine to Florida will be taken over by water and pushed inland for miles. Mexico. Most coastal areas of Mexico will be inundated far inland. The California Baja coast will ultimately become a series of islands. Much of the Yucatan Peninsula will be lost to the rising waters. Central America and the Caribbean. Central America will sink and will be reduced to a series of islands. Higher elevations will be considered safe. A new waterway will eventually develop from the Bay of Honduras to Salinas, Ecuador. The Panama Canal will ultimately become cut off with no access. Africa. Africa will ultimately be divided into three parts. The Nile will widen significantly. A brand new waterway will split the entire area from the Mediterranean Sea towards Gabon. As the Red Sea enlarges, Cairo will ultimately disappear into the sea along with the Great Pyramids. The majority of Madagascar will also be taken by the sea. Asia. This heavily seismic region will have the most severe and dramatic changes. Land will be inundated from the Philippines to Japan and north to the Bering Sea. As the Pacific plates shift its position, the islands of Japan will eventually sink, leaving only a few small islands. Taiwan and most of Korea will be completely lost to the sea. The entire coastal region of China will be pushed inland hundreds of miles. Indonesia will break up, however some islands will remain and new land will emerge. The Philippines will disappear completely beneath the sea. Asia will lose a significant amount of its land mass through these dramatic changes. However, entirely new land will eventually rise. Australia. Australia will lose nearly 25% of its land due to coastal flooding. The Gibson Desert will eventually become fertile farming land. Entirely new communities will develop between the Great Sandy and Simpson Desert and new refugee settlements will be created in Queensland. New land will also be created off the coast. New Zealand. New Zealand will grow in size significantly and will once again join the land of old Australia. New Zealand will quickly become the promised land and ultimately one of the most migrated areas in the entire world. Europe. Europe will experience the fastest and most serious earth changes. Most of northern Europe will sink beneath the sea as the tectonic plate underneath collapses. Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Denmark will all disappear and ultimately create hundreds of small islands. Most of the United Kingdom from Scotland to the English Channel will disappear beneath the sea. Several small islands will remain. Major cities like London and Birmingham will be among the remaining islands. Much of Ireland will disappear beneath the sea except for the higher ground areas. Russia. Russia will be separated from Europe by an entirely new sea when the Caspian and Baltic seas combine. The Black Sea will merge with the North Sea as well, leaving Bulgaria and Romania completely underwater. 
Much of Central Europe will sink and most of the land between the Mediterranean Sea and the Baltic Sea will be completely lost underwater. Most of France will be underwater, leaving an island in the surrounding area of Paris. A completely new waterway will then separate Switzerland from France, creating a line from Geneva to Zurich. Italy will be entirely divided by water. Venice, Naples, and Rome will sink below the rising sea. Higher elevations will be created as new islands. New lands will rise from Sicily to Sardinia. If cataclysmic earth changes were to occur, much of human history will be lost to the sea, leaving our ancestors to rediscover lost knowledge and technologies. Hey, it's Prepper Action, and do I have survival gear for you on my newly created Amazon storefront, and I want to invite you to take a look. I have broken these items down into six main categories, and they are backpacks and bug out gear, extreme survival, first aid, two-way communications, emergency food, and last but not least, clothing for the wasteland. I have everything you need to survive. All these items are top of the line quality gear by name brand companies you already know and trust. I personally pick these items to perform at the highest level of quality and performance expectations. I have already done the research and own some of these products and would highly recommend them to you. You won't find any cheap Chinese knockoffs in my Amazon storefront. Most items are offered as an Amazon Prime purchase, so free shipping is a plus. Now, let's have a look at a few gear categories, starting with backpacks and bug out gear. I offer brands like Maxpedition, Bushnell, Camelback, Condor, 511, and more. All gear is chosen to provide you with the reliability and quality that you can count on when you need it. I have items most prepper Amazon storefronts do not have and I will add more. I have items like Geiger counters or Giger counters. Is it Geiger counters or Giger counters? I'm not sure. Biohazard suits, bloodborne pathogen containment cleanup kits, right? Who has that? I do. And I'll be adding to them on a consistent basis. If you check out my Prepper Action Amazon storefront and don't see something you would like, just add a comment to this video. So, to visit my Prepper Action Amazon storefront, just click the links provided in this video or on my Facebook page for more information. I am really excited to be able to provide you with great quality gear that you can rely on. I hope you like this video, and if you know someone who is in need of, beside yourself maybe, of some great quality gear, send them this link. And that being said, as always, Prepper Action out, and be safe.